Oh man, you know, I know all of us in the running back room, we all got like a little sideline snack that we go to after like a big play or a big run. So like we just we just take pride in what we do. We try to be different as a room and as a collective. So we try to have fun with it as long as competing on, on the field. So check this out your first game since the season opener. Did you feel like there's some rust to knock off or did you get to the flow pretty fast? Oh uh, yeah, it was definitely some rust to knock off. Um even in the flow of practice throughout the week, um just getting back to the groove of things because we're running back, it's all about vision and patience and that kind of thing. So it was definitely good to get back out there. Once I got the first few plays under my belt, I was rolling. Um, I, I think it says that our offense is very dynamic um, in the pass game and the run game. Um, just to see how all of us offensive players are so dependable on each other, and like it, like we really help out each other's game like more than we know it. So like and when we look back on the film today, we'll really see it. And we messed up on some plays out there. I mean, the good thing is we we didn't play down to their ability. We play ASU football, and that's what we'll take out of here. I oh, mean, his performance was amazing, man. That's my guy. Um, we worked super hard in the off season, and I know the type of work he put in, and just the type of just, just the type of receiver he is. And it was his time to shine. And when it was his time, he stepped up and he made big plays. So I'm proud of him. So, Darian, another so, uh, so guy. What does this mean for you personally coming back here? Um, it's always good to come home and put on a show. You know, you probably got family and friends watching or coming out to the game. So, I mean, it's always a good feeling. You know, especially in Cali, you got good weather. Somebody, I'll just, I ain't going to lie to you. I, I already said it on the field. I feel like I'm at home. I am at home. If you ask me, this is my home. So I'm right. I'm not too far. So. Well, Ben, don't break defense. Things going to happen. It's football. Like, things that happen. Like, offenses, especially with that offense, that's a really talented offense. You know, they, they, they're really good at what they do. They're really uh, well coached. I feel like came down to us. Well, I just think this defense, like, you know, it doesn't matter what we put in front of us, we won't break. That's just not, a, that's not what we're about. We don't get the job. We, we're all about getting the job done, no matter who it is. No matter who's up, we try to get the job done. What was the key to getting that stop on fourth and two? And they went for it down by the goal line. What was the stop there, the key there? Uh, that was just big for we knew we already knew exactly what they was gonna do. I feel like throughout the week we knew what they like to do in the red zone. The quarterback liked to pull the ball a lot. We already knew that. So good job by the freshman stepping up, Eric Gentry, you know. He's just a special kid. You step up all week and probably do the same thing in practice. Is it cramped? Is that what you have Yeah, it's cramped. Just right. overall, what's the challenge of game planning for and then defending someone like DTR so dynamic, such as Wolfram? Uh, we had a pretty good idea of what he liked to do. You know, he was that's a really good quarterback, but you know, we just started in practice like, if one, two, if this guy's not there, he's gonna take off running. We knew where he wanted to run, and I mean, he just he did a good job tonight, you know, doing his thing. But as it is, eventually he had to get stopped. No, you just no, not not really. Just keep on, just play football. That's it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Eric, yeah. what clicked after the first quarter with your offense? Mm -hmm. I mean, I just think it was just going out there and um, getting the, the nerves off and then the first quarter and then just locking it back in. The leader stepped up and was uh, vocal about it and told everybody to lock it in and we need to start picking up our offense and, and roll. How about the explosive plays of the offense today? You've been waiting for that. Coach has been talking about explosive plays. Have you had a couple of them? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, we emphasize it every day in practice and uh, in the game plan as well before the game. And we just went out there and uh, did what we did in practice and performed and just executed the play. Yeah, I mean, we're never satisfied as an offense. So, I mean, th this is a glimpse of what we can do. We can do a whole lot more. But, um, yeah, that's just a little sneak peek of what we can do. How big a game is this for this offense, just to be able to go out and do what mm -hmm. you guys did against a, a solid defense and to now move forward mm -hmm. deeper into Pac-12 play? Yeah, I, th I think this was a really big game for us. It gave us a lot of confidence. I mean, see going out there and seeing all the big plays happen for us. And a lot of guys were having fun. I think that was a big part of it. A lot of guys were having fun. A lot of uh, players were playing confident, and we just did our thing. Yeah, so I mean, it was man coverage, so I knew that he stuck me and he was a little bit inside shade. So I knew if I just kind of gave away my slant a little bit more, so he bit on it, and then I'll just just uh, go out and uh, perform the play and go go catch the ball. But we went over that a lot in practice, so I mean, we talked about it a lot in the game plan that it was in the, and then we got the look that we wanted, and we just went out there and executed.
So the blocking's come together really nicely for you on a couple screens, but you've also contributed heavily in blocking for mm -hmm. the game. What do you attribute this receiving core's blocking success to in particular? Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, for us, in practice, we emphasize it a lot. Blocking. I mean, as a receiver, you don't you don't really think of blocking as that much. You just think of catching the ball a lot. So, I mean, we want to be a different receiver core than everybody else in the country. So we take uh, pride in blocking. So we're just gonna go out there and work hard on that too as well. Uh, I mean, he was proud of us, but he also said that we need to think about the next game going forward. You know what I mean? Enjoy this moment right now, but we got to get back to work.